trip's going really well. Um, it's like 1.30 and we have like maybe five, four more hours. I don't even know time. I'm just kind of following my GPS and driving. It's crazy that the time has came for us to leave Indiana. I mean, a lot of memories in that house, even though I complained about it all the time. There was a lot of good memories and good times. We lost our first pregnancy there. I miscarried in that house, which might be TMI to some, but I did. So that was like a really big moment in our marriage. Um, you know, we were tested a lot with Jordan's work. We brought home our first baby. I took my pregnancy test in there, telling me I was pregnant with Oliver in the upstairs bathroom. And it was crazy. Like all the things as we were doing the final walkthrough to make sure we took everything out and there was nothing left behind. It was kind of like a bit of emotional, honestly, just to like walk through and have everything empty. It was kind of like, like my husband had said, you know, I went upstairs and I looked in Oliver's room and it was empty and it was just like a weird, it was a weird feel to it. The last time it was emptied like that, we were waiting for him to come. I was pregnant with him and we were doing his room and stuff so it was just you know life happens like this with a military family especially and people move even with like homes that they stay in for longer periods of time but this was our longest duty station together as a married couple. It was a little more I was a little more attached to it than I have been to any other house we lived at and there was a lot more that we've accomplished living there together so I'm excited to see what North Carolina brings as far as memories and if there's another kid that'll be born when we're there at this next house but I'm excited for the future so keep praying for us though we're still waiting on a perfect house to come around it sucks because I feel like this is just dragging us down but I've learned can't always be picky, which I am going to admit that I am. <laughs> I just have high expectations and I have to realize that I'm renting and I'm not buying. If I was buying, oh my God, bless anyone's heart who has to deal with me. I am just excited to see what's going to come and I'm hoping and praying for like a house. I don't need it to be like bells and whistles, but maybe just like bells or whistles. <laughs> There's some things that I really don't want to like look out of but I know where we're looking. I'm pretty confident we'll find something with majority of what we would like. And that's really at this point all I can ask for. I just want to get the show on the road and I want Jordan to be able to enjoy the house before he has to go back to work. Right now we are, if you don't remember, we're headed to Jordan's sister's house. Jordan's sister lives in Virginia. And it's actually when I was mapping out the when I was mapping out the um, drive, we passed where she was living. We might as well make this a trip that we can just stop stop and see her and Dawson and her husband, Justin, because we haven't seen them since Oliver's birthday. Well, we haven't seen most of the family since Oliver's birthday, but it's on the way and it would just make a lot of sense to do that. So that's what we're doing and I'm very, very excited for it because I'm gonna, it'll give Oliver and Dawson a chance to wear each other out and play with each other and you know I was always you know close with my cousins so it'll be nice. Well, I'll update you guys a little later. stuffed animals. Do you like the cats? Cat. Cat. That's a cat. <gasps> Look at this doggy. Aren't they cute? Do you love them? <clears throat> yeah, we don't need those, baby. Look! Oliver, look! Who is that? Mickey Mouse? Oh, oh, thank you. 
Thank you. Dog? What sound does a dog make? Woof, woof, woof. <clears throat> a dragon. Wow. Look at this one, bud. Yeah, it looks like an elephant. You dancing? Are you dancing? That's Gatorade. <laughs> yep. Water. Water. <gasps> Chocolate milk. You found the holy grail. You put back. We're gonna get some food for mommy, daddy. Let you everyone stretch, and then we're gonna finish. Okay? Is that what you want? Literally, you're holding ketchup right now. Officially, the next day, we got into my sister-in-law's at like nine. And then we kind of spent the day, well, the rest of the evening, just hanging out, letting them play with all of them. And we finally went to bed at like 11. Oliver's still asleep. It's a little after seven. I'm excited to just spend time with family. So thanks for watching.